There are many people who are quite optimistic that we will be able to create artificial intelligence as good as and even better uh, than a human and, and then we'll reach this singularity event which is where computers will be smarter than us. And I think that the whole notion of whether we have a conscience and have free will is fundamental to challenging the assumption about whether we can ever develop a computer that will actually replicate the human mind or even go beyond the human mind. And as Christians, we believe that we're created in God's image, we're created with free will, freedom of choice. We can see that in the Garden of Eden. Uh, God created us with a choice. He told us not to eat of the fruit of the tree uh, and uh, Eve chose to do so. Uh, and we all know that we, we have freedom of choice and we choose to do right things, we choose to do wrong things. That freedom uh, to choose is uh, intimately bound up with the whole idea of consciousness, this rather mystical thing that no one can really yet properly define, uh, that really d defines who I am as opposed to who you are. Uh, how do I know what I'm feeling now? You don't know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm feeling now. That's the concept of, of consciousness and the soul, and free will is very much bound up into that. Now, if that's true, uh, and of course I believe it is, and as Christians we believe it is, that we have a soul, we have a conscience, we have freedom of choice, then it will not be possible, even by the admission of materialists, to create a computer that would be able to replicate that. There's certainly no um, algorithm that would be able to replicate this uh, consciousness and freedom of choice that we're talking about.